guys welcome back for another video and today I'm going to show you how to set up and or download and set up Optifine including getting the JRE so the first thing you want to do is go to the first uh, to this link in the description below and or the first link in the description below and go down I'm going to do it from 1.8.9 but before, okay, the first thing you want to do is download Optifine 1.8, the latest version. Then you want to click, or wait five seconds. Do not click anything on this page. Make sure you wait and uh, click Skip Ad when it shows up after the five seconds. Then you click Download Optifine 1.8.9. Right here. Then it'll ask you if you want to keep it. You press keep. Then you go down. You go to this website right here, which is the second link in the description below, and you click accept license agreement. Then you go down to one. I have no idea what one you're using, but make sure you go down to one of these uh, operating. Pick your operating system and your. Um, your bit like your computer bit and you click the offline version if there is one so you can use it offline obviously okay now what you want to do is click the JRE thing I'm not gonna download it because I already have one downloaded so I'm just gonna press cancel you'll run through like a normal download thing anyways I'm pretty sure you know how to do that already so you just wanna exit out of that cause you won't need it anymore then you go to your Minecraft launcher and you go to the version you add the version you want add new 1.8.9 I don't really know what to call it so I just call it 1.8.9 then you do that and you click save you go to new then you go to here and you select 1.8.9 and you click that where it says download 1.8.9 then it downloads it shouldn't take very long I'm using 1.8.9 it does not matter what version you use you could use any version you would like uh, and let's see it should take a couple of seconds probably a minute or two so Okay, now that Minecraft is open, you just click the game because you don't need it. All you needed to do was download that Minecraft version so you could download Optifine. Now you go down to your downloads folder. Then you click, then you find this, the Optifine folder in your downloads folder. Make sure it downloads to your download folder. Then you click, then you right click it, you click open with this this or this most likely won't be there so you'll have to choose an app it'll ask you to choose a default app or you just choose an app Choose find where you downloaded the JRE and open it with Java it should be in that folder somewhere okay and after that just click open with Java it should open then you should get a window that looks a bit like this and once you get to a folder that looks a bit like this you just click install do not change anything do not click extract you can click cancel if you don't want it I don't know why you wouldn't because you wouldn't be watching on this, watching this video make sure you click install do not click extract okay then you don't need this folder anymore so you just delete it yeah then you open up your launcher make sure you do do that then you go down to Optifine it will are it will add itself so you do not have to worry about it finding it just click it play so this should take a couple of seconds
Okay, now that Minecraft is open, all you need to do is go to the options folder and click video settings. Now, I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds to just, uh, you can pause your video here, copy down all of my things to get like the most optimum results and stuff. But I'll try to uh, explain a couple of things. Bright, bright, and uh, brightness. You should just leave it on bright. I don't see why not. Uh, render distance is best to keep it at eight, so you get like the best rendering. Like, it, I don't know how it does it, but it's it just renders a bit smoother. Uh, for eight chunks for render distance. Um, here's like the definition, it's more realistic movement when, uh, when using MIP maps, set it all for best results. I honestly don't want to use MIP maps. Okay, and that is this folder, or this, the video, just the video settings, and you go to details, here's the settings for that. And you can pause the video if you need to. Okay, done. Animations. I leave mine on. You can all of them on, but for just so I can see the particles because it looks cooler. But if you turn it off, it does give you the better results. And the uh, quality. Is this. I do not use MitMap, but every time I try to change it, my Minecraft crashes. Oh, apparently not. If you try to change MitMap, do not change it. While I keep, I recommend keeping MitMap up up to four, cause it'll, I believe it'll run smoother. But do not, do not try to change that in game, or your game will crash. I promise you that. It, this just gives you like better smoothing, I guess, and it won't let me change it. So, there is your settings for that, and just done. Then performance, smooth FPS it just gives you uh, it stabilizes your FPS and don't let it fluctuate. Like it basically make it go up really high and go, like go up to over a hundred then go down to like 50 or 60 or something it don't do that it's it sets it like when it does fluctuate it doesn't fluctuate that much fast render it uh, just it renders the game faster and that and the, this, I'm not sure what those two are, but full screen, yeah, you know what that is. Show FPS, it just puts a little FPS. <laughs>